So hi everyone, I'm Jazz. I'm here with the Student Music Network. Um, I am the Regional Midlands Officer and I'm here today with Flower of Love. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. It's really interesting with your music, this message that you choose to convey of like self-love. And I remember reading in an yeah. interview, you were talking about the message you wanting to convey, being to love yourself and that you are powerful and you are the one capable to do that. And I think this is such a strong message for someone not only of your age to have, but also someone in this industry to have. I feel like it's not something that is very common so I was wondering like where you got this message from and like who inspired this philosophy within you like was it from other artists or was it from family or like did you come up with it yourself like how is it formed that is a great question so um I'd say it's formed from me finding out myself from personal experience that when you love yourself everything just comes into place mm -hmm. like life just feels good when you like you mm -hmm. you know because if you don't then everything else around you is just miserable mm -hmm. and I feel like everything is always a self-reflection um so what you want to see is what you will see yeah that's the best way to put it it's not inspired from any other artist because like you said it's not very common but I would say someone who in a sense whilst I was on my self-discovery um trip who helped me was probably Tame Impala, who I love very much, mm -hmm. close to my heart. There's this one song on the Lonerism album called Be Above It, which is the first song, actually. And I used to listen to it every morning. And I just felt like it was, I took it in as words of affirmation. Yeah. And I saw that you kind of style your fans as well, which I think is really cool. I love how yeah. you're really into fashion. That was fun. Yeah, as well as, so you're kind of like your model kind of into fashion like fashion design and stuff like that i guess the thing is i'm actually not in as into fashion as i look like i am <laughs> like i feel like i look like i know a lot about fashion but i actually don't it's a fun fact like i don't i just wear stuff but the little um i opened up a thrift store basically i did one in london then like people loved it so i did one in la as well okay. and i did it like around a song release but it wasn't specifically about the song like whenever i do these things i never play my music because it's not about me it's yeah. about the fans and getting their clothes and feeling like you know from a thrifted items it can still be great but yeah, I know you're really, you've talked a little bit about like sustainability through like thrift stores and vintage stores and obviously you're vegan and all of this. Um, I think it's really interesting, like the way that people go about environmental activism, like we've seen recently with the Just Stop Oil efforts, like some of the women throwing soup at the Van Gogh's sunflower paintings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think those are quite extremist forms of activism. And I don't know if I agree with them necessarily. Maybe there's better ways, maybe there's not, but you've talked about the ways in which music can be used as a healing power. So how do you think that music in general or your music in particular, how do you think it can assist in the push towards um, saving the planet and environmental activism? Like what part does music play in that? Oh, that is a great question. I have never thought about that, actually. Mm -hmm. I would say I've hoped about it. Mm -hmm. I hope that me as an artist not necessarily through the music, but just me as a person and the, the way I present myself mm -hmm. can inspire people to um, live a more sustainable life. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying everyone should go vegan, but it would be nice. Yeah. Lyrically, through my music, like, when you listen to music, you take in the words too. Mm -hmm. So I just hope from what I say, people can also, like, subconsciously gain that power to be like, yeah, I can actually do small changes because they all add up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think I completely agree. I think it's so much more powerful to send a message like kind of almost subversively. Like people don't even realize yeah. with music, for example, because they're just listening to the song and they just take it in. Whereas I think when you're shoving stuff down people's throats and if you're very conscious about it, sometimes it's less effective. So I get yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, it has to be a choice Yeah, as well. Yeah, 100%. 100% has to be a choice. But obviously you still work with your brother. Um, I do which lovely is lovely lunch. and I think it's cool because it's kind of there's, it's, it's similar to like Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas you've got that kind of uh, sibling relationship going on how do you think that mm. affects your songwriting and your music making like do you think it's more of an advantage and gives you an edge or does it have any drawbacks at any point I think a bit of both yeah. like because we're siblings we argue about stuff and we both have strong opinions it's different if like you had you 
you didn't know someone and you just started working with them or you've known them for like a year and not mm. like your whole life and then they give an opinion you'd probably like not want to fight back that I'm actually probably like, oh, okay, okay. But no, we like argue with siblings and stuff. And we have very, very strong opinions. And we both think that they're very valid. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a clash. But I would say it's more of an advantage than a disadvantage because I can be most comfortable and very it's like a trustworthy environment in the music industry it gets complicated sometimes when you work with a lot of people because yeah. people claim that they wrote this or they produced this but yeah. you didn't believe that they did and then it's like why are we doing this like is it for the money or is it because we love the music like yeah. there's always a thing with credits specifically like and i don't want to fight about anything do you know what i mean yeah so it's best to just work with people you trust. And also, you can think you trust someone if you work with them for five years, but if they're your family, then you just know that it wouldn't happen because they're always on your side. Yeah. So I know you've got a lot of influence from Tame Impala. We've talked about him quite a bit. And I know I yeah. think you've also said you really like Frank Ocean. But if you could collaborate on a song with anyone tomorrow, who would it be? Like, would it be Tame Impala? Oh, tomorrow? Yeah, or would it be something It else? wouldn't. It wouldn't, okay. It wouldn't. No, I loved him, Paula, but I would never want to make music like him. It's just something I feel like I should enjoy as a fan. Yeah. Like, I also have a thing where, like, there's certain things I just want to be a fan with. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. there's certain people I wouldn't want to be friends with because I want to be your fan, and it would just change the idea I have of you. Yeah. Like, I've met some people, and I'm like, oh, I, can't, I don't think I can be a fan anymore because you're, like, real. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, so I would say Lil Boat. Okay. Why them? I'd do a song with him because he seems like a really cool guy. Cool. And I feel like the actual process would be fun. Final thing to say is kind of like, what's next for you? Like, is there anything upcoming that we should look forward to? Or is there anything yes. you want to end with? <clears throat> on Monday, I'm announcing that I'm releasing an EP on November 10th. And it Ooh. is called A Mosh Pit in the Clouds. And it sounds like A Mosh Pit in the Clouds. <laughs> and that is just a dream that I always have, like, A Mosh Pit in the Clouds. Okay. So yeah look forward to it it's great i love it 